Home decor. We back at it. So I'm thinking that I kind of want to have. What is that? What is that, Luke? I'm kind of thinking that I want to have like a wallpaper moment. And disregard, we're still waiting on our night on our nightstands to be delivered. Um, they were supposed to be delivered last week, and then they got back ordered again. I'm just or two weeks ago. I'm so confused. So the nightstands are going to match this piece of furniture, so they're going to be taller and chunkier. These are going to go. These are going to go in one of the guest rooms. TV is getting hung on the wall, and I think I want to do like a wallpaper moment up here. Uh, this, I'm getting rid of this thing, and then the cats have destroyed this rug. So, gonna get a new rug. What, bad girl? <gasps> what do you see out there? Uh, and then we need to hang. Baby Pud is over her curtain, um, climb. I think Baby Pud's over her curtain climbing phase, so we're gonna get around. I have curtains for these windows. Uh, we just haven't hung them yet because I just didn't want her climbing them like crazy. And I really think this year I'm going to put a Christmas tree in our bedroom. Um, I have a 10-foot tree and it should fit here. And that's the one that's the one that I had at my apartment. I think it's going to fit. And then the smaller tree will go downstairs because the ceilings are not as high downstairs. The ceilings are like... Wait, how does that make sense? Is that right? I don't know. So I need you guys to help me pick, choose a new rug. I'm um, actually, this rug is actually too big for this space. I think I'll get like an eight by 10 wallpaper. This thing's going, I'm going to replace that. Um, and then the new nightstands are going to be chunkier, taller. And, uh, I need to clean this room right now. So we're going to, we're going to bring the trim. Cause like Luke did the trim work on this wall. In the back wall and we're gonna bring it over here onto this wall I don't know why we didn't finish I just think we just ran out of wood and got laid bye, bye, bye. okay I'm gonna talk about this movie very by very I don't even know how to say it and the thing is Luke so after I posted that story last night I was upstairs, y'all know I come up and I come up to bed at like 8 p.m. every night and I just lay here. I love being in bed. It makes me feel safe. Luke stays downstairs, he watches TV, he like does he watches some like sci-fi weird kind of we people with like horns and tails and shit. I don't know. And that's fine. But I come up here and I kinda like do my thing, I unwind. Anyway, so I post about the sto about that movie, and Luke texts me from downstairs or messaged me. He's like, why are you bringing this up? And we watched this movie seven months ago, which we did. We watched it a long time ago, and I just forgot to talk about it with y'all. I can't even believe that I watched it watching the after watching the trailer. Because I don't do creepy, scary shit. I can't. I'm not going to sleep. I'm having nightmares. People grabbing my feet at night, putting me, yanking me out the bed. I watched this movie, and there... Creep, cr creepy, creepy is an understatement. There's really no other words. We both left watch after watching that movie, just feeling pissed off. You just, you're just pissed off the entire time, and it is the creepiest, strangest. <sighs> Don't do it, or do it. And I'm sorry for bringing it up, but I just. And anybody who watched it messaged me last night and said the same thing. It is the weirdest. I, I think I watched it because I like the the lead character guy. He's the, um, he's the guy that played Zuckerberg on the social network. I don't know his name, but he, I like him. And I liked him in this movie, but golly, man, it's a damn mindfuck. Yay! Bought a new trash can. How exciting. Why are these why are these so expensive? Why are trash cans so expensive? I don't know, but um so this one, I mean it's it's fine, but I got it off of Amazon, but as you can see it's it's seen better days. I've had it since my apartment. I just it slams when I lift this like there's oh yep, there's no um no like bumper action and I just I needed a new one, so I got this and it's lovely it's white 
it comes with liners that apparently fill the whole thing. It's like, and it has this nice, slow clothes. Silver ion coating resists fingerprints and germs. That's a damn lie. And then on the back, it comes with liners. You can order their liners or you can, these, this pack comes with it. There's a liner pocket there, which is great. You just pull them out the next time you need one. And apparently their liners fill the whole thing. I'll put one in and show you guys. Um, I'm also going to link it, but I think it's really pretty. And they have black, white, and then I think a rose gold. I'll link. Okay, so I just dropped the bag, the liner bags, in the back of it, right there. I already pulled one out, so I'm not going to pull another one out, but you literally just grab it and pull. Liners are definitely larger than the average 13-gallon trash bags. I don't know. I just, I really like, what is my life right now? I'm excited over a trash can. So this right here, this happens whenever you are using a steamer to get the wrinkles out of your clothes, but you're actually wearing the clothes while you're steaming them. That's what happens. Those of you asking about the rug that we have in the bedroom currently, this is the Laked In rug from Boutique Rugs. I will link it next. Um, and I have a code MBW60, 60% off the entire site, but this is a beautiful rug and I hate that you can't see the entire thing. I'll show you what it looks like on the next slide, like a screenshot of it. It is so pretty. Uh, lots of ranch, please. Extra ranch. How many extra? Uh, can we get two extra? Two. And then, can I get an order of the loaded fries? 